everyone welcome to the rare pearls family and thank you so much for being here in today's video i would like to quickly share with you all the products we are currently using we are not product junkies and you would see by the end of this video that we truly are not product junkies so without wasting much time let's get right into the video So we'll begin with our shampoos and then we'll move in the order of conditioners, leave-in conditioners and then the products we use for styling and also sealing in our moisture. For our shampoo, this is what we've been using. One of the shampoos we use is the Cream of Nature um, Sulfate Free Shampoo and uh, this shampoo really really works really well on our hair. It, it um, lathers a lot so you just a little amount goes a long way and your hair doesn't feel stripped whenever you use this shampoo it's sulfate free however when we use this product after a while we do well to clarify our hair um, once in a while to remove the product build up with um, either this um, the Aunt Jackie's clarifying shampoo um, it works really good as well but after using clarifying shampoos it's best to follow it up with um, a moisturizing deep conditioner so we use this Aunt Jackie's um, clarifying shampoo once in a while another clarifying shampoo which we have been making use of lately is um, this clarifying shampoo and the first time I used this clarifying shampoo I just had to research to find out if it's really a clarifying shampoo if it was really a clarifying shampoo because it left my hair feeling really soft after the use and um, it's quite runny that's the only thing which I don't like about this product it's quite runny so you have to be extra cautious when you are pouring it out to use for your hair and this is the as i am kel clarity shampoo yeah kel clarity shampoo so when it comes to shampoo for my little girl i use um the share moisture um i use the share moisture kits mango and carrots nourishing shampoo and we are almost done with this bottle it's like we've used two thirds of it and we have like a, a third more to go yeah and this is what we've been using on my youngest daughter's hair her hair loves it and i also use this as well on my son's hair and next we'll be moving on to deep conditioners for the moisturizing deep conditioner we have um, two types that we've been using are uh, um, Kinky Kelly Not Today um, <laughs> I was just about to say leave him but this is a moisturizing deep treatment so we have the Kinky Kelly Stella Strands which is over here and we have this Ali K Natural um, Ani and Sage Deep Conditioner so when it comes to both, I think they they both work really well. However, the Kinky Kelly Stella Strands has a really thick consistency, really, really, really thick consistency, and it gets the job done. Likewise, the Ali K Natural as well. However, it's it's um, not that thick; it's a bit runny. But the most important thing is that it gets the job done. So that is it. We have been using this one for I think over eight years now and we started using this about three years. I have used this for about three years now. So that is it for the for our moisturizing deep conditioners and it's for all of us for myself my youngest daughter and my oldest daughter. So these are the moisturizing deep conditioners we use and for the protein deep conditioners we have two types in this household we have uh, my oldest daughter who is protein sensitive so I use light protein deep treatments for her and for her I use um, this olive oil replenishing conditioner and if your hair is um, you are sensitive to, to protein you can easily use this protein treatment for your hair 
so we got this um, professional salon size and um, she still has a long way to go recently I started um, deep conditioning my my youngest daughter's hair and I tried this on her hair um, I did not really like the response I had so I'll look into switching it for hair and for all our naturals who are protein sensitive you can give this a try so I intend to get her a new light protein treatments because I've been using this for quite a long time now. I think I've used it for over nine years. So I want to switch things up. Perhaps her hair has gotten used to this so much. So when this bottle runs out, because we are not product junkies, I want to finish with this bottle and then I'll get a new one. But most likely I'll order it on my next um, purchase. So that is it for um, a light protein deep conditioner and when it comes to myself my hair loves protein so this is the the protein treatment which I've been using for ages it's the ORS um, hair minus and I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing because you don't change a winning team but sometimes once in a while you would want to try other things out so maybe just maybe I'll get a product <laughs> to try out only when this product runs out this is how this one also looks it works really 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 well and as you can see I'm almost done with this jar almost done with it yeah so next we'll be moving on to rinse out conditioners we don't use rinse out conditioners much but once in a while I, I like to have one um, on hand because once in a while I'm in quite a rush however I want to get the girl's hair done or I want to have my hair done quickly as quick as possible without um, having to go through the process of deep conditioning and waiting and raising it out so I always try to have a rinse out conditioner on hand I'm not so particular about the type of rinse out conditioner for me any works fine however it should be a moisturizing rinse out conditioner and for that, I've been using the Asai Am Dry and Ichi Olive Oil and Tea Tree Conditioner. This is how it looks. And um, I'm indifferent about this product. It's okay, but not. Um, it doesn't give me that extra vibe. <laughs> And for my little girl and it's the share moisture mango and carrot kids extra nourishing conditioner her hair loves this my son's hair as well I've been using this conditioner for him so I use them the share moisture kids um, shampoo and this conditioner on my son's hair as well and um, it's been working great so far so good they love it I always ensure to buy um, these products whenever I order my product the last but not the least um, category of, of, of products we have here is detanglers I got this um, Aunt Jackie's not on my watch um, conditioner it's an instant detangling therapy and I used it for myself for my oldest daughter's hair and although we were able to to detangle our hair initially I thought it was good but I found a game-changing detangler you do not want to <laughs> miss out on this detangler it is the real deal it is the real deal if you want to get a store-bought detangler so this is how <laughs> we are almost done with this jar I need to get my hands on you know I, I think I'm due to buy new products yeah so this is almost done this is all we have for for this um, African Pride Moisture Miracle pre shampoo detangler it works really well and we've also tried out flaxseed gel making our own flaxseed gel and it was actually really good really really good I'll link that video in the description box where um, I compared this um, store-bought detangler this African Pride Moisture pre shampoo detangler to um, the flaxseed gel I made myself 
to use on detangling um, in detangling our hair and um, you should just watch that video it's very very informative so for the next um, basket of products um, we have um, leave-in conditioner we have stylus and also um, oils and butter and uh, uh, just a butter that we've been using on our hair we'll begin with leave-in conditioners and um, for my oldest daughter and sometimes my myself as well but not much I've been using this um, kinky Kelly not today leaving and you can see that we are almost done with this bottle please indicate in the comment section if you would want us to do product empties um, a video on product empties will we'll be will be sure to do that yeah so we are almost done with this um, kinky Kelly not today leaving we've been using it for years and it gets the job done it gets it done however my young guest daughter's head does not respond well to this product it begins to get very tangled when I apply it to her hair so I do not use this product rather I use this um, TGIN green tea super moist leave-in conditioner um, recently I think a couple of months ago I got this product and um, when I traveled to Frankfurt and it's been working amazing yeah but I don't mind changing it it's not something that I would say oh this product is a must-have for me I'm open to, 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 to try other leave-in conditioners as well yeah. and we have the first product we have is the as I am double butter cream and yeah we've been using this i use it for myself and for my oldest daughter and we use it for our twist for our braids for our african threading we apply it after we use the leave-in conditioner and we are almost done with this jar it's extra thick really really thick and it smells amazing However, I don't think it's really moisturizing, so it's it's best to really seal up, um, seal in the moisture after using um, your leave-in conditioner and using this, it's best to seal in your moisture with your preferred oil of choice or butter. And you also have to try as much as possible to increase the frequency between moisturizers. So I have been personally using this product, this Elasta QP um, Olive Oil and Mango Butter Moisture Lotion is just for me. And I follow this up with my oil or butter. The next products that we have in here is the Shea Moisture Kits. Ta-da! <laughs> is this product and I use this for my son's hair and my little girl's hair as well. They love it. They love it. So the final but not the least um, styling products we use is the As I Am Twist Defining Cream. I got this product and tried it out for the first time on my hair. This year, I think I got it about um, seven months back and I've tried it on two occasions for my twist. However, the downside was that whenever I tried um, moisturizing my twist, my the twist started to unravel. So that, that's the only downside with using this product for myself. I'm not sure if, um, kindly indicate in the, in the comment section if you've used this product before and the steps or measures you used um, um, whenever you were moisturizing your hair in order not for your hair to unravel. I would love to have your opinion on that. But aside that, yeah, so this, this is how much I've used. Not much because it, it made my twist unravel so I haven't... <laughs> I haven't been focusing much on this and I've rather been using the Elasta QP and as, as well as um, the double butter cream for my twists. Next we are moving on to our oils and butter. We used um, Shea Butter for our hair and um, we've been using it for years. Now there's a Shea Butter mix that I made and it works really 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 good. Next we have, I have this Fatica Coconut 
oil this is for me personally not for my girls I use it as a pre poo because I do not like the smell I don't want to have the smell of coconut on my hair after I wash my hair so I have this vertical coconut oil and I have organic coconut oil as well which I use for my pre poo the next um, oil that we all love to use is olive oil yeah and that is how it is. I usually pour it into my applicator bottle and then use it and I have castor oil which I love to use on my scalp before I have my hair washed yeah during the process of pre poo that is it we also have a couple of essential oils we have lavender oil and tea tree oil and um, we've not been using much of it but we plan to do so in the coming um, in the coming weeks and these are just um, stimulants scalp stimulants you can mix it up with your oil to use you can pour a few drops in your in your um, shampoo to use when it really a shampoo in your hair however if you are pregnant or you are a lactating mother kindly do well to consult your your doctor before using any essential oil we use this lotta body product um, for curl styling our hair and we use it on um, using curl foamers <laughs> so please do well to check that video well um, out as well this is what we use for um, protecting our hair against heat and it's the African Pride Olive Oil Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Heat and Shine Mist yeah that is all that is all so we have two main um, baskets of products we've been using and most recently we were sent a package of items from AKK to Naturally Divine, which we've been adding in our regimen. It came with a moisturizing spray, a leave-in conditioner, a shampoo, and we also have this Ayurvedic um, scalp oil, which we are yet to use. And we have this Manuka and Ani. So far, we've been using the We've been using the Cotton Candy Collection and very soon I'll try my hands on this Manuka Ani Deep Conditioner, yes. So please tell me, what do you think? Are we product junkies? If you've been watching till this time, please share in the comment section what you think we are. <laughs> Would love to hear your feedback. And thanks a lot for watching. We hope you, you've, you've had a wonderful time here on this channel. We've also had an amazing time with all of you here. And we really appreciate the love and support. Until we come your way again in the next one, know that you are a repel and know that you are precious. See you in the next one. Bye!